To get around the fixed size limitation of arrays, we can implement a data structure called a dynamic array. The general idea is that whenever we need more room in the array, we perform an operation called resizing to make more room. But of course, we just talked about how it's not possible to literally change the size of an array. What resizing actually is, is creating a whole new array with the desired size and copying every single element from the original into the new one. Then we can just use the new array in place of the original. So resizing an array isn't literally changing the size of a single array, but for the purposes of our code, once we implement a dynamic array, we can basically treat it as if it's an array that grows to fit our needs. But it's important to consider how much we should grow the array length by each time we perform the resize operation. We want to minimize how often we have to resize because copying every single element into the new array is pretty slow. Like, imagine if resizing always increased the length by 1. Once we exceeded the array size, we would need to make a new array, then copy, copy, copy into it. Then we want to add another element, we need to make a new array, then copy, 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 copy into it. One more element, new array, copy, 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 copy into it. The more elements we have, the slower this will get. So instead of growing the size by a constant number each time, we actually grow it by a factor, such as doubling the length every time we resize. This gives us more space to work with after each resizing, so we don't need to resize as often. So there still will be some wasted space with this sort of setup, but the fact that the array's length grows alongside the number of elements makes it much better than just choosing an arbitrarily large array size.